Billy, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm excellent, bro. How you feeling? Good. Good. Um, just last week, getting ready for the fight. Just warming down into the, you know. All right, my friend, listen. You're fighting, you're making your pro debut, and we'll talk all about it, and we'll talk about, you know, you were in the room, we had a podcast not too long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're fighting Amis Guten, right? Or Guyton? Yep. He's a beast, right. man. You're, 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 what weight are you fighting at? 170. Uh, he's cu he's coming down. He's coming to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to one, I uh, make it down from uh, 185. Yeah, because I checked his whole career, and he's basically fought at 185. I think his lowest weight in the past was 179. He might got down maybe a pound or two less than that. So, man, this is a big, big fight, bro, as your pro debut. Oh, yeah. It's um biggest fight of my career. <laughs> now, now, we talked about... You know, you making your uh, pro debut a few months ago. You you know you made you had an offer uh, for CES and that fell off the table. And you know you did talk about reality that this was coming up, man. And when you had your coach Dexter in, you know we mm. talked we talked all about how uh, you know he's getting you and you, your other training partners there prepared, giving you the toughest fights he can because he wants you ready when you hit the bigger shows. Because uh, you know it, we've been. A lot of fighters have been, uh, you know, been showing their true colors there once they get to the big shows and getting blasted, man. So you got a big fight, man. How'd this fight and how'd you get uh, matched up with uh, with Guyton here? Um, yeah, um, just kind of threw my name in there. Um, this is one of them that came back. He said he had a couple last matches. He was 2 0, um, making his way. I guess he wants to make his way down to 155 eventually. Um, and this is just on the way and so it's a good pro debut he's not a slouch so it's gonna be a good fight yeah it's new for both of you guys man he's fought for reality before and you've been there plenty of times you had a big big you know win or two there dude how do you feel about getting back to reality and uh kind of around your crowd man you're right from that area correct yeah i'm, I'm i live um a half hour from what he did i saw a bunch of pictures and i have a bunch of people there so it's nice to fight in your backyard Excellent. You got a trainer partner fighting on the same card too, correct? Yes. Uh, it's, well, his name is uh, Marcus. He, um, he actually today my coach found out that his opponent, um, actually something about us, um, he um, armed it, um, but he was scheduled from his last fight. I guess he needed a neurological exam or something. Okay. And they scheduled him one for today or yesterday or something and then we called him and he was like yeah i don't have a ride to the doctor for me they own it well we can push it an hour later or something and he was like yeah i just don't think i can do it so he kind of just fucking pushed out and i it's just some bullshit but we're trying to get him another, another one and see what goes from there but it, it, uh, it happens yeah so his fight's kind of it's 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 all done right unless you get yeah, yeah but that one that one's off. All right. Um, that doesn't mean you won't fight. We'll see what happens. Okay, so there's still, you know what I mean? It's it's Amy's and stuff. Yeah. Wait, what weight is he? He's gonna be one seventy as well. Now you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the beans here. I have the fight card here. Do you do you know the name of his opponent? His name's uh some it starts with an N. Um, <laughs> where I I got it right here. Let me see if I can yeah. spin it. Let me see. Um, what was your what Mark is it uh what was your 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 trainer partner? Marcus Cintron. No. Yeah. Is that your is that your Yeah. So he's Marcus fighting Numidin Ambra from from yeah. deck uh no from uh Boston BJJ. So Yeah. All right, well Numidin a bar. All right, whatever. He's off. Who cares? He's off. He's gone. Look at this guy. He's gone. Play. He's off. Yeah. Let's talk about this pro debut, man. I, would, I was saying his name just so I could blast him, but you just blew it. Screw yeah, it. Screw I was just going to put fuck, you he know, quit. middle fingers out. Hey, question for you, bud. Go to your pro debut. What are you looking What are you looking to do here? What, what's What's the goal? You turn him pro, you turn him um, pro to get made to the show. What's What's the goal here? What you, sorry, say that again. I said you turn him pro. You're looking, you know. You, obviously, you want to, you know, turn a, turn pro, be a professional. What's your end game? Are you looking to go to like a Bellator or a UFC? What's What's your plan? Um, I just want to be the best. Yeah, as good as I can get. 
and whatever road I go down, um, that's the road that's gonna I'm I'm gonna go down. That's awesome. the best. You... But that's it's one fight at a time, so I can't really go too far down the road and say I I wanna I'm gonna end up here or I'm gonna end up there. Just whatever whatever options I get, I'm gonna take. Do you got any sponsors for this first pro fight? I know you said you sold a lot of tickets. World Peace. What was it again? Sorry, David. Uh, what did you say? I said, do you have any sponsors for this pro fight? Um, I do not. Um, I'm trying to figure that out. Um, for my career, I actually I do. I think um, Pro Recovery, they're a cryogenic in my area. They're helping me out with like um sessions and stuff that's awesome that's um, great helping my team out and stuff that's awesome that's great man that's and it's always good i always tell the pros you know get a sponsor packet together stop marketing yourself that's huge so congratulations oh, yeah. on that that's awesome well he, make a living somehow yeah Absolutely. definitely he's only 20 years old too. young man young 20, 20 yeah. years old making Listen, his pro debut that's have, awesome now he was supposed to make his he was he uh owns well he he owned the title for uh premiere correct the 155 pound title correct that he you know fought a beast for, and then he was supposed to make his pro debut. He was offered the fight for CES, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that fight fell through. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now he's uh, doing it for reality. So hey, have you ever fought at um, Mohegan Sun before? Yeah. Yeah, uh, twice. Okay, so you're used to the experience. That's that's great because that's a that's a very big arena. It's a very um, it's an emotional thing. It's really exciting to fight there. So that that's gonna yeah, be a great pro it. debut. I, um, they have, they also have a, they have a big cage which is cool. Yep. So can you spill the beans on your walkout song? Is there is that a secret? What are you walking out it's, to? Uh, it's gonna be footloose. Nice, there you go. I love it. I love it. It's always good to get those fans riled up when they hear that walkout song. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, hey, Billy. Yep. To get to your opponent. I want to talk a little bit about your opponent. Now you're making your pro debut. He's two and zero with two fucking knockouts, man. Both. Um, he uh, took out Sean Evans at Reality, and his last fight was a 30 second, 39 second KO against Tommy Davis on Tommy's pro debut, man. So I would imagine this kid's, uh, you're a banger, so this guy's, you guys are going to be throwing some leather in that friggin', uh, that cage, right? <laughs> Definitely. Um, he's had a couple of boxing fight uh, matches, too, so uh, I, I'm expecting him to have good hands, um, and I saw he threw some kicks, and um, he looks strong, um, but I, I I think I'm better. And yeah. at the end of the day, it's just who wants it more. So now, um, now you got Dexter as uh, you know your head coach there, man. Uh, how's he feeling about this uh, sending sending his warrior in there and making his pro debut? He's confident. He's uh, confident in what I can do. Uh, as soon as we uh, we'll, we'll fight anyone and everyone. Uh, as long as it's uh, right fight for me, the best fight for me, so my like options wise and stuff. And this is a great fight for a pro debut, and I'm gonna put on a good show and make a statement to the everybody who's in the local division. And and I talked about this uh, earlier before you came on about how you know Dexter he gets you the toughest fights and it shows in your your you know your Amy career all all of, all tough fights you haven't had. One one easy fight, and your last fight was against a jujitsu friggin' black belt, basically. Um, yeah. And um, you know, so now you got to, you know, you're not gonna have any danger really taking getting taken down. And if and if the fight does go to the ground, you're not going against you know uh, a Brazilian black belt. You know what I mean? You're going against someone that's probably just as good as you, or you're not as good as you on the ground. So I'm looking forward to a big stand up war. The last time I saw you at Reality. Was a great, great fight against uh, Steve Morell when you guys were just going toe to toe against each other, and you you just came out with uh you know you came out with the the the, the TKO out of that one. Yeah. So oh, hey Billy, funny. Billy, quick question: Walk us through a um walk us through the week before fight camp, your last hard week of training, without giving away all the answers. But tell tell the uh, average follower. How hard is Billy training for this fight? What's he doing to get ready for this fight? Is it two a days? What, what's what's the day look like? Uh, this week it's mainly just fine tuning everything, getting my weight down, um, and making sure I'm, I feel good, ready to stretch. A lot of stretching. Uh, last hard week was last week, and that's heavy sparring. That's two hour practices. It's every day. Um, trying to get weekend stuff in. Every day we can do because. Um, 
the only thing we take into that fight is cardio. Absolutely. Because you get tired, you lose everything else. So cardio is the most important thing. Pace, and nobody's gonna be able to keep up with me. So. Well, that's excellent, man. Well, Billy, we're back at 170 pounds, man. What's the difference? What's the difference between uh, the lightweight and uh, the the welterweight in your eyes? What's the body feeling like? Um, I'm like ten pounds heavier than I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I um. Hey, did you have a? Could you eat during Christmas? Like, could you kind of like not? You know what I mean? You couldn't eat like a pig, but could you kind of eat during Christmas? Yeah, I mean, it's, I have a hard time anyways. I'm a, I'm a vegan, so oh, I okay. can't eat a pig out anyways. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. But, um, it, I, I can, fighting at 70, I can kind of eat whatever I want to the last little bit. Um, and I mean, I eat healthy always anyways. Um, so, I didn't, I didn't bounce up for Christmas or New Year's or anything. Um, and now I'm pretty much already there. Um, I'm definitely, I'm not a big 170-pounder, but I'm not a small one, but I'm a big 155. Bigger 155 sucks. Yeah, I don't know. When you sat next to me here, and when you came in, you were a pretty big dude, man. So, Billy, what do you walk around at usually? <laughs> What's your walk around at, wait? Um, right now, I'm probably walking out at 185. Nice. nice. That's, That's about awesome. what he was when he was yeah, sitting yeah, next yeah. to me. I go, no, holy shit, he's only 20 years old. Yeah, he's a yeah. freaking bull. That's awesome. So, Billy, what's your background in martial arts? Did you, well, How would you get into it? Um, I just, I've wrestled since I was eight. Okay, great. And when I, I was trying to get into like, college, and I went to a community college. Okay. I was going to transfer, and then one day I was just like, I, I don't want to do this. So I started training again. I used to train when I was a kid. And I started going back, and I was like, I want to fight. Like, I want to step in the cage. So, That's awesome. So what are you doing for a career now other than fighting? Is fighting the career, or what's your what's your job right now? I um, I work at a school. Um, just to kind of, this is, this, I, I put this as a priority over everything. Yeah, So yeah. this is number one, but I mean, this doesn't pay the bills. So Absolutely. Yeah. I, I try to do work here and there. I just got, um, waiting for my drug test back from EB, so... Nice. Great. Excellent. Well, well if, you, if you're going back to school, you're yeah, doing there. something. There's a scholarship out there for you, buddy. So make sure you go to the, the website and apply for our scholarship if you're looking for some money. Awesome. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do, bud. Yeah, we do. We have a scholarship program that, yeah. uh, you know, we we go on our website and apply. and, uh, and That's you, what we want to do. We want to yeah, help out. The you could be getting 500 bucks in 2019. That's right. Awesome. Um, la last question I got for you. I'll let Tom uh, ask one more. Uh, last question, Billy. Making your pro debut. Um, what do you What do you think? What fighter out there, a pro fighter that's known that that you think you not as good as, but you like to mimic yourself as? Who Who out there do you kind of uh, is kind of who you look to and who you want to be like in in the fighting game? Style wise, or St style wise. Um, that's, I mean, I want hands like Anderson Silva's, uh, and I want to wrestle like the beat. So, nice. All right. That's there you good. go. That's that a makes sense. sense. That's a good combination. All right. <laughs> that's so that, awesome. that, that's what you, that's what you're shooting for. <laughs> yeah. And it's, Anderson Silva's the first fighter I ever like really got into when I was growing up watching him. And that's what really draw, drew me to the sport. And, um, and then, obviously, all the wrestlers who are doing well, like, watching Henderson go you know, and doing so well, and, like, um, Khabib and GSP and um, just tons of people using wrestling to dominate uh, yeah. the MMA scene is just, it, it's good, because I grew up wrestling, so I love it. That's awesome, man. Awesome, bro. Okay. So, so, hey, uh, you know, like I said, you look at, you fought at, Re you fought at reality before, you fought in the big arena before. This is kind of like home turf for you. I just want to say, man, we wish you we wish you luck. We hope you go on the scholarship. You apply, and you know, one last question: what what makes Billy the best? What's gonna make Billy shine in that cage this weekend? Um, I don't I don't stop pushing. Nobody's gonna break me. I, um, I'm not gonna quit. Um, you're gonna give up before I will. And you might you might have better hands than me, or better wrestling, or better jujitsu. Um, but you're gonna have to knock me out, put me to sleep, and stop me. Crazy. I'm 
I'm not going to stop. That's awesome. Big words, Billy. I'm really proud of you. Really excited for you. Good luck on your pro debut. You only get one. Go make it count, big guy. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right, my man. Billy, I'll be there Saturday. I'll be there from start to finish, man. Uh, I want to, you know, I probably won't see you before the fight. I don't like to bother anyone while they're, uh, you know, in the in their fight, you know, fight game. But definitely come see me after, buddy. I, I don't know where the media sits or anything like that, but come find me, bro. We'll, we'll sit and chat oh, yeah. a little bit. You sit cage side, definitely. Steve. It's one of the best media things. In the they don't they don't sit me cage side no, last time. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Reality hooks you up. Not last time. Not when, when I went. went when I went as Domenico. You were a regional one, Billy, fight sports. I, I was like in the the bleaches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Billy. Um, Billy, uh, social media. I don't know if you said that. Throw your social media out there because I want people to follow you on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, my um, Instagram uh, is Billiam, like William with a B, and Goff, G-O-F-F. -F. And my uh, Twitter is the same thing. My um, Facebook is just Billy Goff. Excellent. Um, so, thank you. All right, Billy. Um, I'll see you in a few days, man. Good luck on weigh-ins on Friday. I hope that kid makes friggin' weight. He better make weight because. Um, I mean, if he doesn't weight, we'll still fight. Yeah, nice. I know you. I know you will, brother. Um, I definitely know you will. Uh, but you know what? If he didn't, doesn't make weight, he's suffering, and you're gonna put a hurt on. Take him. his money. <laughs> Take his money if he doesn't make weight. <laughs> All right, my man, Billy. I'll definitely talk to you in the future, and I'll see you Saturday, bro. All right. Yeah. Stay safe, guys. Thank Have you. A